What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing good. In this video, I want to cleanse my soul and I think this is a good time for all of us to cleanse our souls and uh, you know, just get a message for today to motivate us and put us on the right path. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. God bless you in this wonderful day. Here is Daniela Jaga bringing you a prophetic word from the Holy Spirit, bringing you a revelation, mm -hmm. some direction for 2024. Okay. People of God, we are declaring that this is the year where God changes things radically for you. We are believing that God is going to take you from zero to a hundred mm. quickly. And he is going to bless you with things that you could never imagine. Mm. God is going to heal you. God is going to restore you in Jesus name. Mm. Now, whenever this is getting ready to happen, whenever change is getting ready to happen, I need you to understand that not everybody is going to be comfortable with yeah. that. Not everyone is going to be happy True. to see you go from being someone that was broken to being someone restored. Mm. Not everyone is going to celebrate seeing you go from being in poverty to seeing you be successful. True. So God is telling you today, before the breakthrough reaches, don't let people brainwash you with their negativity. Don't let people that don't know what God has for you come into your life and tell you that God can. not It's crazy that Daniela is saying this right now because I have been going through a period right now, like two weeks, right, where I've just felt overwhelmed with so much work and so much negativity and even the people around me bro it's like <sighs> people have been like super negative and the greatest part about this is that i get to do this i get to sit every day and i get to film videos and i'm so grateful to god that he has given me this opportunity right but sometimes i feel like people's energy is you know just dragging me down and <sighs> It's like, you know, when you hang around people which are constantly negative and they, they're not uplifting you, you, you get, you, you almost get sucked into that. And then you're just like, shit, like it just wears you down. So yes, it's very beautiful that she's saying this actually. Can't do it. Mm. God is getting ready. Hallelujah to bring mass breakthrough in your yeah. life. And when that is getting ready to happen, a lot of times people want to come and tell you that you're dreaming too big, yeah. tell you that what you have in your heart from God is not really God. And I'm here to tell somebody, don't let those people brainwash you. Mm. The word of the Lord says in the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, listen to this, okay? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Who knows the plan? God. Okay. If God is telling you that he is going to do something for you, that God is going to bless you, that God is going to heal you, that God is going to deliver you. Don't listen to anybody else because they don't know. Who knows? Yeah, only God. It's true. It's true. Only God knows and he has his plan. But sometimes you do get affected by the world and the vibration around and the negativity and even like the spell casting, which is happening, because I feel like everything was good until kind of there was like a moment where I like, I didn't say I, like I announced it, but I started talking about it more on social media, start posting just like things which I was really, really happy about. But then I just noticed like most of the people which follow me, they follow me just, I think, to just watch, observe. Like most of the people aren't really my friends because like I can do something like amazing, incredible things that nobody around is doing. Right. But then I, I see like a certain negativity, even like from certain family members, like certain negativities, you can hear like certain comments or certain things which they just put out, you know, and that's what I've noticed with people. Like sometimes I think, I don't, I don't even think that people hate like what I'm doing. I think they just, they're just irritated at the fact that they have to do what they're doing and that pisses them off. And I understand that. I understand. So it's like, it's this envy, which, which appears it's this automatic hate, but, um, I'm starting to notice like, yes, you should just focus, focus on the plan that God has for you and, uh, 
try not to read too much into it, but I can say it like I can 100% say it like it, it does affect, it does affect. And sometimes, you know, when you work so hard for such a long time and you're so focused, and you're so geared in and you're like, okay, I got to get here. I got to get here. I got to get here. Right. And the closer and closer you're coming to the end of the line, the more tired you become because you have been using all that energy, all that energy to get there, right? Uh, if the voice of God is saying something and the voice of the devil is saying mm. something else, you really have to be mindful this year on who you're going to listen to. Mm. 2024 has to be the year where you have a firm foundation, mm. where you know who your God is, where you know the plans that he has for you and where they're trying to lead you. Listen to this. It says, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future mm. so let's say that today you make the decision and you get your journal and you say you know what i'm gonna write down my goals i want to open my business i want to go back to school i want mm. to lose some weight all of those plans the bible says that god is the one that puts the desires el querer como el hacer. he is the one that puts the desire in us to pursue something so if you are pursuing something that goes towards prosperity towards hope then you better believe that it's from God. Mm. If it's something like quitting and giving up, which is what people are going to try, okay, to have you do, then you know that that is the devil. 2024 has to be the year where you're mindful of what you're listening to. You have to question everything, mm. whether it's your besties, your best True. friend, your husband, your wife. Well, I'm pretty sure your husband and your wife will encourage you. But even sometimes they could be used by yeah. the enemy. You have to be mindful of who you are listening to. And uh, and put a filter on the voices that try to come into your spirit that you're coming in agreement with. Okay? If the plans, if your goals are aligned to this, to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future, then you better believe that that is from the Lord and you have to pursue it. Okay, mm. the same way God speaks, the devil likes to speak to us as well. The Bible says, people of God, that when Jesus Christ was in the wilderness, he was fasting for 40 days and for 40 nights. When he was getting ready to start his ministry, the devil showed up. Every time you're getting ready to start something new, every time you're going to receive a blessing from God, every time something good wants to happen, the devil is going to show up. And he's not going to show up with horns. Uh, yeah. He's not going to show up with a tail. He's not going to show up red. He's going to show up as that friend. She gives me so much energy. Sometimes I watch her just to get that energy back again because we need the Lord. In 2024, we need the Lord more than ever. But something which I've also noticed is like usually when it takes longer time, that's when it's really for you. And trust me, guys, I've been there. I am there right now. As I'm climbing higher and higher, I'm starting to notice how difficult it is. I'm losing friends, losing partners, but you still got to climb. You still got to push, you know, you still got to push. You know, I, I had a business partner where we were working together and I lost close to, I can't even say it on camera, but was a lot of money, a lot. And I, I thought to myself, I was like, why, why? Because I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for it. That, that deal, I wasn't ready for it. And now that as I sit here and time has passed and, I, and I'm really reflecting on the situation, I'm like, yeah, I wasn't ready for it. The Lord will, will give it to you in, in his time. And they say what? You repeat a mistake until you learn the lesson. History always repeats until you learn the lesson. So history has been repeating for me right now. And I'm at a place where I'm like, yes, I, I need to learn the lesson. He's going to show up as, as a family member to get you to get confused and to discourage you, okay? The Bible says that the tempter came to him and said, if you are a son of God, 
Tell these stones to become bread. Jesus mm. answered, it is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. So whenever the devil came, he was trying to brainwash Jesus. He was trying to bring confusion to Jesus. He was trying to get him to his mind. Now, how did Jesus Christ come back all of the confusion and all of the negativity with the word of God? Mm. 2024 has to be the year that when people start telling you something that doesn't sound like the word of God, you rebuke it. Whenever people try to tell you something that doesn't sound like what God has said he's going to do with you, you don't accept it. You block that person. You keep distance. Don't, like I always like to teach you guys, don't flirt with the enemy. Mm. Don't keep that friend that's always telling you to give up so True. close. They are not for you. True. They are not for you. They're, like I mentioned, how the devil likes to show up. Okay, so once again, people of God, don't let them brainwash you. Don't let them lead you to a place that you quit. You have to be strong-minded 2024. Mm. Not everybody is going to be there for you. The apostles mm. weren't there with Jesus and defended him. Like, oh, no, don't, don't tell Jesus. No. Why? Because Jesus had to get this victory. Like many of you, you might be processed. You might be going through these things alone. It's not that God is trying to punish you. But there are certain victories that you have to win for yourself. And this yeah. is one of them. Negati negativity from people. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. Simply because somebody else that is not God has told you to. 2024 has to be the year where you stand on every promise that God has given you until you see it come to pass. Mm -hmm. Because he surely, surely will fulfill his promises in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm, praise the Lord for that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Go in to our channel. I'm going to link it in the description. Uh, and I just want to say like, guys, we're going to switch up the content. And yes, we're going to have me roasting people and, and doing all of that. I'm not going to stop with that. But yes, I, I, I do think that we should cleanse our souls. And I do think that we should talk more about God. And we should talk more about when things aren't going that good. Because... The problem with social media, guys, it's it's a highlight reel. Oh, everything is going good. Oh, look at me, bro. That that's not life. We're not sitting here and pretending to be perfect people. Our flaws is what makes us special. Hey, I'm not I'm not really okay today, but guess what? I sit down, I make the video, I push myself to create something at least. Who knows? It might be a, a flop. It might be a good video. It might help somebody. But that's what I really, really want to focus on on this channel. I want to help people.